I I I got a call from the wizard yesterday. He said he got some good stuff for me. And he oh yeah, like and he, drugs. Nice. He actually drove by my house and he dropped off this uh, WikiHow article. Uh, and he said huh. he said he said don't tell. And then he Ooh, yeah. And then he that. drove. He said it like that. And then guys, I, I swear to God, line. his car drove up. Okay. Wait, it, Griffin, like, did he make you walk outside and meet him in his car? Yeah. So he drove over to your house. Well, made my, you my, come outside and get it. My my our infant is home, and so like I didn't want him to come in to come inside. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, he yeah. already knows where you live. You're done. Yeah, I guess so. But anyway, his car. But drove you haven't home. invited him in. You and haven't invited him in. That's very important. That's all that matters. He drove up into the clouds. And here's a wiki how that was uh, uh, like by, at the end of Greece. Yeah, by Graham Roebuck. Thanks, Graham. It's um, it's a great, it's a really good one. And this one's fresh off the the press. This one's from uh, June June second. So it's it's a oh. hot one because. The title of this one is How to Become a Civil War Corpse. Whoa. What? And it's not like no, wait, hold getting on. a time Just machine. Give me a second. Yeah. yeah. Getting, a t- okay. getting a time machine and do a bad job at Getty- Gettysburg is one of them for sure. Yeah. One of the big ones. Charging up a hill, defending a post, maneuvering a flank. Everyone wants to be the hero of Civil War reenactments. Nope. Yeah. Uh, but one thing is always in short supply. Corpses. Clutching your chest and falling down doesn't exactly cut it in terms of historical accuracy. This article will help yeah. you get started. Uh, okay. They didn't even have chests back then. A lot of people yeah. didn't. No. Here's what I would like. Before you, you even continue, uh, yeah. this has given me the idea that I would like to be a, a corpse at a Civil War reenactment, but I would like to be there when everyone else gets there, and my corpse is part of a different thing. I mean, it's still okay. part. I'm still con- I'm like playing the game, right? But I just happen to be a corpse on the battlefield when they showed up to fight. From, and then, which had to happen at least one right? time. Right, like, so off, way more than one time. If somebody trips over a corpse in the middle of like a fresh new battle, and they're like, "Stop, guys, stop the battle, stop the battle." Who do you think they ever? Yeah, who didn't clean and like, up? Guys, can we do this mystery, please? Please, just someone's been murdered. Is this, murder? is this one of and yours? It, it's not one of ours. It, it was a uh, this. This cat's wearing orange. <laughs> it's not one. Of, <laughs> I don't think of he us. works here. He, I don't think he works here, guys. We have. Hey, hey, other team. Stop war for a second. We have to come together to get all the clues to solve this one. Then we can go back to us saying slavery is obviously bad and you guys supporting it. But first, we got to first. Yeah. <laughs> Travis, it was about heritage. A lot well. of t-shirts. I was, I, listen, I used to be confused too, but I saw a lot of t-shirts around here that for me it's about heritage, mm. not hate. So mm, I that see. was conf- I see, I see, I see. Okay. Um... You don't actually believe that, do you, Justin? <laughs> no. Uh, it's especially irritating in West Virginia. Yes. Where it's like, okay, even if I take you at face value, you know that we literally like, we're like, well, we're just going to scooch over here so far that we become our own state so we don't have to be on your team. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely not a good fit for West Virginians. So for you... We can rule that out, right? So it's definitely about just the racism, right? It's just the right? other it's thing. Just the I don't know how to tell you guys this. You're all Yankees. Um, yeah, you are definitely Yankees, and you just don't like black people. Like that year, so it's just racism. Cool, cool. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, What would be a, f- like, This it's hard to be a fun corpse, isn't it? Well, well here's uh, my suggestion. Okay. Gangrene. Oh, okay. You get shot in. You pretend to get shot in the leg, and then you just spend the rest of the battle just going like, slowly "Oh God!" Expi- slowly expiring. Does this is never to gonna get better. Who's oh that man, leg medicine. Anyone? Oh, oh shoot. God! I'm up shit creek over here. I wish we'd invented penicillin. Oh damn it! <laughs> um, all right, so the first two steps: find your unit, do a Google search, find out where uh, uh, battles are taking place. Find out when. Uh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Make sure you have a period accurate uniform. Um, it says, remember, this American Civil War was fought before between the Union and Confederate armies. Knights and stormtroopers were not at the Battle of the Shiloh. Lo, 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 lo. Lo, 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 lo. Um, and then march in a battle. Some reenactors march in columns with their units. Others run onto the battlefield, waving their arms and screaming. It's your call. The next I'm step that is. Sec- I'm doing that second one. Are you kidding yeah. me? <laughs> the next I'm going to make myself look big to intimidate you. The next step seems like the most important one. Step five, get shot. 
Make sure you're, ti- you're falling over just as your enemy shoots. Nothing's more embarrassing than falling over to silence. You'll look like the world's stupidest soldier. Also, take care not to fall over after the sound of your own side's guns, lest you look like you got fragged. Okay. <laughs> now, Griffin, do they give instructions on how to, you hear the shot, you fall down, Mm. But then you're like, I was just faking it to get your guard down. Now I'm shooting you. And then what to do if the other side is like, I fell down, but I was faking it too. And okay. I've got an invisible grenade. Yes. Boom, right. Boom. And then and you're then- like, okay, well, I have a chainsaw. And it's like, well, I have an invisible force field. Like, well, my chainsaw is magic and can cut through force fields. Well, my yeah. force field is scientific, so it's not affected by magic. That kind right. of thing. Is that in there? Yeah, that's, that's step six through 19. Is okay. all that stuff you just said. Clutch your wound. Spectators need to know where you've been shot and that it hurts, hence the clutching. It doesn't say- <laughs> Oh, my balls. Yeah, it shows a person clutching the chest, but the copy doesn't say the chest. So like- No. You could you could have gotten shot right in your beepus. And <laughs> well, say, that's like, the thing. Oh. In 1860, rifles were very inaccurate. They, were, uh-huh. they didn't have uh, very good tooling on that. And so and, chances are, you're not getting shot in the chest. And as Travis has said, gangrene, a very, very genuine, you, you, you know, doing some home reno, accidentally, you know, get a, a, a nail in, in your hand, you're fucking dead, dude. Like, you're not gonna, you're donezo. They don't have a thing, they don't have medicine for that yet. So clutch That's what I'm saying, you could get shot in the toe yep. and go down and you're fucked. And you you're know what dead. I mean? Um, this one's wild. Prepare your death cry. This area is open to the most artistic interpretation. Most people go with, ah! But the more elaborate death cries could build backstory into your character. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. For example, try, this one's for you, Aunt B. Ah! Or- No, you're not dying for your Aunt B. Or, this one's wild. I'm coming for you, Mr. Lincoln. Ah! (laughs) Sorry, what? I'm coming for you, Mr. Lincoln. I'm co- what I'm coming to heaven to kill you. <laughs> what I also am pretty sure that during the Civil War, Lincoln was, was still alive. kicking. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He was still alive. That would be a weird. How about not again? Mm. <laughs> this is what the prophecy warned me about. <laughs> not again. Oh no! And on my day of retirement, <laughs> and on my birthday would be a good one. <laughs> Yeah. It's my birthday, and I all I wanted was to kill Mr. Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I had a coupon for a free scoop at Baskin Robin. <laughs> uh, the most important thing with the death cry is you must interrupt whatever you're saying with, ah. Um, fall down. Except it takes a long time to die. Yeah, fall down. If you're in the front rank, fall forward so you don't knock over the guy behind you. And if you're in the rear rank, Thoughtful. fall yeah. backward. Very thoughtful. <laughs> what if you're in the middle? Uh, thunk out, fucking asshole. You bumped into me. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, what? All I wanted was to kill Lincoln on my birthday. Oh, and and P, also, your you. bayonet is now for real in my shoulder. So that's a problem for sure, for sure, for sure. You scuffed my fucking 18th century pumas. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, but I'm dead. Uh, fall down. I'm coming for you. Uh, what was his name? Guys, guys, what's the guy with the hat? He's got the hat and the beard. What Thank was his Lincoln? name? Pro- Lincoln? Um, Professor Cool Hat? No, that wasn't I'm it. I'm coming Fuck. for you, Professor Cool Hat. I'll be straight with you guys. It'd be a lot easier to think about this if I didn't have a bullet in my, in my toes. Lay there. <laughs> you must remain still until the battle is over. An exception to the rule is if the reenactment allows zombies. See tips section. I believe I will. Zip, 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 zip. <laughs> Just, <laughs> Just quick question. Do you think that it would be get you in trouble if like you fall down and then you just kind of slowly pop your AirPods in and you're just like, whoop, and then you just go back to laying there while you listen to like This American Life or something? I would, if I could get a time machine and I was doing my death cry, you know what I'd say? What? Like, and I get killed in the Civil War, and I'd rather not get killed. So maybe I figure out a way to fake it. But like, I would just shout, "I'm inventing Spider-Man!" Oh, that's cool. <laughs> uh, and so every and er, at the first, people wouldn't get it. Like there would be like probably twenty people who are like, "No, the craziest thing I ever saw in war." This dude <laughs> <laughs> was like, after he got shot, this 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 dude fell over and he was like, I'm inventing <laughs> Spider-Man, right? Yeah. And it was, it was wild. It was the wildest thing I ever saw. And their kids would hear it. And yes. then eventually, they'd hear about Spider-Man, right. right? And they'd be like, 
Hold on a second. I don't think you actually came up with this, Stanley and Steve Gitt- well, Gitko. I don't think it's your baby. I think actually what happened is, I think actually Justin McElroy, an uh, old Civil War soldier, uh, invented him as he died. And then, uh, who was that? Your battle, Justin? Well, it's Robert E. Lee. And a century later, his grandson, his great-grandson, excuse me, Stanley, was like, yeah. my, right, papa, right, yes. my papa's papa told me once about a man, a brave man, who invented Spider-Man. So I'm going to steal that from that dead fool because he didn't copyright that shit. But I'm going to add a hyphen so it's legally different. It could be, I have no interest in LARPing as a as a Confederate general. That's not something that <laughs> appeals to me in the least. But in the same vein, it could be fun to <laughs> cosplay as, say, Stonewall Jackson and just be out there and get shot instantly and fall down and be like, oh, I landed on my little beeper and I shit my pants and I have shit. Like, if there's a high school there, like, oh, no, my always diarrhea that I have and I'm going to pass down to all my ancestors. Oh, no. The only good thing about being on the Confederate side in a Civil War reenactment is that you know the exact picture that will be used of you when you get canceled. Oh, yeah. Sure, sure. It's nice to have that kind of image control, I think, because, like, that's the one they're running, right? Like, that's the that's one. That's the one. You know, that's the shot, is you charging forward saber aloft, <laughs> defending the <laughs> For right racism! <laughs> oh, yeah, right. oh, that's the image. Oh, no, 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 but no, then sure, you look sure. closer at the picture, and does he have his hand down the front of his pants, and he's wincing like his balls always hurt, and he shit his pants? <laughs> like he's making fun of Stonewall Wait, Jackson? That's look fucking here. funny, actually. Look here with a magnifying glass. That is pocket. Is that a note that says, I'm inventing Spider-Man? That's right. Huh. <laughs> this is this is a picture of Griffin dressed up as Stonewall Jackson. Fuck, wait a minute, but look, his pants fell down and he's wearing a diaper that says I'm an idiot on it. <laughs> oh man. I guess he fucking got Oh it. shit, is this a pr- Griffin did a protest. <laughs> Griffin did a protest everybody. What's he protesting? Stonewall Jackson, I guess? <laughs> Wait, but he was in the reenactment. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's he's, a weird thing. He was wearing a shitty diaper that he had drawn the words I'm an idiot on it with Sharpie. Wow, that's power. That's a powerful statement, huh? Really makes you think the about pro- family. The place where you people fuck up in Civil War reenactments is they that they get out of their Yaris and they walk to the where the fight is. Yeah. If it's me, kind of the bad boy of reenactments, as you are, known. I drive the Yaris right up to it. Yeah, I'm like, hey guys, I fucking invented cars. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's plow through the Confederates in my Toyota Yaris. Hey, everybody, get in. I'm sick of this, this bloody battle. We're going to go have an eating competition. Yes. Let's settle this with with uh, with with food eating. With food eating, as they say. Come on. And that's how my great, great, great grandfather, Joey Chestnut Senior, Senior, <laughs> Senior, was invented. <laughs> there, excuse me, Joseph? Yes. People don't get invented. Yes. <laughs> That's a good point. Correct. Oh, excellent. I guess I'm I'm fucking high on hot dogs right now. Dog, I don't know what to tell you. Tripped out of my mind on sliders. Ate too many. I got too many th- sulfates. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Bread, too many sulfates, bro. I don't know what to tell you. I'm in a hard head space right now. I don't know if you saw, but I ate four pounds of flaming Hot Cheetos. So I'm having a pretty bad day. <laughs> I just lied about my family. I'm sorry. And now I'm going to give you some Oracle of Delphi style prophecies as I huff these wiener fumes. I want to be sure with you. I don't know where the food goes. <laughs> so my brain, my brain creates these elaborate lies to try to justify it. But I mean, to be sure with you, I haven't pooped in five years. I don't know where it goes. But I got I lumpy arms. Help me. 